Stop recording, Jake. Whoops. Stop recording. Hello, everyone. Stop console companion role one console this three is a, This is a brief video of Stardew Valley. We'll be going through, uh, for the developers, some of the things that work. As a totally blind player, and believe it or not, there are a couple of things that one can manage. Some of the things that do not work as a blind player, and there are quite a few of them, uh, quite a few of those, but also some things that we've done to kind of make the landscape a little more navigable. And so I am starting in the beginning area uh, in my bed here in Stardew Valley, and I'm going to exit my residence here. Now, the trick is with exiting your residence is to, you have to come up with a system if you're totally blind. And we're going to go three, uh, we're gonna go, what is it? Uh, 10 to the left and three down. And hopefully that will exit us. So one, two, three, four. And I'm tapping left on the directional pad. You will need to set this Yes, once that is on, then you can turn that on. Yeah, they may not be able to hear you. So once, uh, Coziest Koala, and yes, that did get me out of the residence. Coziest Koala 306 uh, basically said that to turn on the movement with the directional pad, you must turn on auto sprint. Otherwise, by default, you will be using your uh, left stick to move. Um... And so I'm standing outside the residence, and as you guys can hear, the residence has been uh, pathed, pathed, paved, paved with cobblestone. Uh, this was done by Cozy Koala 306 to make navigating a little easier. So I'm going to go over here, back over here, and I'm going to check my mail, and I have nothing. And the the one way I know that is that. The little text noise projector. comes up. The other way I know that is if I use OCR. Now, I'm doing this with a capture card, so this is possible. Recognizing result document. And I'll give a suggestion to the developers here in a moment. Sun. You don't do Jenny Dale. You don't do Jenny Dale. Full screen projector source video capture device. Okay, so you noticed what it what OCR tried to read. And I got the gist of it. I don't have any mail. That's that's okay. The point is, though, is that without using a capture card and using OBS, I would not know that unless it was read to me. One thing that could be implemented in this game is uh, what they call UI narration, user interface narration. And that can be implemented through the re Let Games Read to Me option in the Xbox console. Another thing that could be done is the cleaning up of the on-screen text. Now I know that the developers, oh, and it is nighttime, so, and that's a good audio cue. Here's something that, develop, that the developers did that was excellent. I know it's nighttime. I know I need to get in my residence soon or I will pass out and most likely be billed for this. Now I have to find my red. Oh, there it is. You basically just have to tap left and up a few times um, so that you know that you're on your residence. And let's see if I can make it back to the bed really quick. Three up, 10 across. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, and um, do you want me to just go ahead and I'll wait for you. But you guys did hear the little in the background. That is the prompt that asks, uh, uh, let's see, what's the actual word for it? Hang on. I'll pull it up and I'll use OCR to read it. Recognizing result document, son. Go to sleep for the night. Go to sleep for the night. Now that read flawlessly. Yes. Yes. And the default option is yes. I'll hit B to go back. Did you go to sleep? Let's see what it says here. Content recognition result. Full screen recognizing result. Sun. 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 I don't have a prompt. Sun. 
Done. Nope. Oh, well, I didn't actually, um, I didn't actually go through with it. Because I'm waiting on the shipping crate, uh, thing to... I see. Okay, um... Sun. Full screen recognizing results of sun. Sun, sun. Full screen protector. Source. Video capture device. Okay, I have went to bed now. And let's see what we get. Recognizing result at 7, 9. Glenn has tucked to bed. Esther has gone to bed. Of summer year, full screen projector, source, video, recognizing result at 7 of summer year, origin. F.I. Shin, mining. Esther has gone to bed. Esther has gone to bed. Esther has gone to bed. Full screen projector, source, video, capture device. Recognizing result mm -hmm. document at 7 of, origin. F.I. Shin, mining. Summer year, 11. Oh, oh, oh. Full screen projector. Yeah, and this, and this does not read very well. I've tried reading it. Yeah, the the what I was going to suggest to the developers, and there is uh, a, a sound that says uh, that the progress and there is a rooster that tells you that it is daybreak, ladies and gentlemen. What I will suggest to the developers, if menu narration and UI narration is not something that is possible and, or that is feasible, is to clean up the font and use a more uh, conventional font. Now I know that means that your text will not be as 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 flowerful or as colorful as as what you would like. But for me, as a blind player and or as someone with low vision, if we have to use um, a screen reader's OCR, as I've demonstrated, uh, it's going to be a lot easier for us to read and get at that information. So I'm going to exit the residence again with my little method. And my side is active, I think. Okay, well I got distracted. Yes, I'm trying to find it. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one. 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 Okay, so, uh, two things I want to point out. Uh, first of all, when switching inventory, some sort of, uh, narration would be great here as well. Just letting you know what item you're on. Because, otherwise you have to guess. Now, the side sound, this sound right here, uh, that's a really good indication of what you're on. But, otherwise, you have to guess which option it is. Now, I do know that uh, two presses of the left trigger uh, will put me on my uh, on my axe. Uh, one right trigger press will put me on my pickaxe, and then another will put me back to my side. But I do not know what else is in here. So that's one thing that could be fixed with uh, UI narration. Now let's go down here and do some harvesting. I'm on my cobblestone uh, pathway here. Oi. Seem to have a very. Gonna go up. Thank you. I'm just tapping the left. So the little popping noises are a good indication that you have picked up stuff from whether you are harvesting, uh, whether you are 
uh, chopping trees. I like that sound effect, by the way. Okay, so what Coziest Koala 306 said, because we're in an Xbox party and uh, you're not going to be able to pick this up on the recording, I don't think. Uh, but what she said is that it would be really nice if these, uh, the little uh, visual indicator that comes up and says collected 3x wheat or collected 10x wood or whatever it is that you're going after um, would you know tell us that's what we've collected. And on the same token, while there's excellent audio cues for walking around... Yes, that's... Yep. While there's excellent noises for indicating when you're out of something or when you have used something, and decent sound effects for things like watering and scything and... And, and chopping trees. One thing that is lacking is audio cues for when you're approaching objects. Now, an object can be defined as, well, a tree, a rock, a door, whatever. Now, knowing that you have approached a rock to break it, or that you have approached a tree, and you want to chop it down, would be very helpful. And your menu narration wouldn't have to say much in that regard. Unless you're looking for a specific tree or a specific kind of uh, an object. In that case, it could be more descriptive. Like, let's say you're traveling along and you're looking for uh, Robin's house, for example. Menu narration could tell you when you have approached Robin's house and when you have approached the door. Yes, let's do that. Um, I will do my best. Okay, now I'm on the cobblestone, and if I follow this correctly... Yep, there it is, and I'm gonna go down or to the right. Okay, I'm officially... Okay, so the shipping crate door basically tells me that I'm about to exit the property, or the farmland, so to speak. And the, the property, and that's actually really, really good. Because that tells me that I'm about to exit the property to my right, which is the eastern side? The east side of the property, so to speak. And we're gonna go into town here. She's looking for foraging items, that's the other movement that you hear. And I'm going to wait for her to be done, and then we're gonna take a trip into town. Assuming, of course... Okay, she's done. Uh, we're gonna go to the right. Okay, so I kind of have done this before. Keep going, right? Oh, scene change. Now, how I know that there is a scene change besides the change in music is that the everything will stop. Everything will stop to let me know that a uh, scene change is coming. But what would be very helpful is if you had some audio cue that indicated new scene change or um, some sort of... Um, yes. 
walking across cobblestone. Just tapping up because I don't. Yes, yes, I can. I do agree with that. The thing is, is I don't know if it's stereo. I would have to go around it. Mm -hmm. Of course. And that that could be that could be somewhat detrimental. going It's night time Now we, yeah, I'm in. We're in the community center. Okay, so, so basically what I've, what's been described to me, folks, is that there is a light around this scroll that I'm close to. Now, I don't know that I'm close to this scroll, except for the fact that uh, Amber, who is Coziest Koala 306, uh, and who is in the party with me, has told me that there is a scroll here, and she's been following with me to make sure that I'm able to navigate this. So, um... I guess I could press A here. Okay, now I'm able to um, to see it. So let's see what we've got here. But again, an audio cue of some sort, or even an ind even a, a menu narration that said uh, scroll uh, would be helpful. So we're going to press A, and nothing happened. Aha! Now that little sound tells me, and this this works for mail as well, uh, that there's something that I can read here. Full screen projector. Mm -hmm. Recognizing results option mod 6, 11, 10 p.m. Crafts room. Reward. Bridge repair. Mm -hmm. Bridge repair. Bridge repair. Bridge repair. Get the junior. The full screen protector source video capture device. Yes, and I can. Room. Reward. Exotic foraging bundle. Now this reads very, very well. Bridge repair. Bridge repair. Uh, because I'm using up and down full the screen scroll. Video capture device. I can even go to the right here. Recognizing result of crap room. Mod six. Construction bundle. Reward. Bridge repair. Bridge repair. Construction bundle. Reward is bridge repair. But I'm using OCR to read this, Fiddle. and this is not perfect by any means. If I were... Should repair. Yeah, to get, to get all of the... To get the bridge repair. Now, I just want to point out... I'm going to press B to back out of here. If I were to be playing this straight through with my console... 
No capture card, no nothing. I would not know any of this. Because there's no way for me to get at this information at all without some sort of menu narration. So let's, uh, we're, it's, it's night. Uh-huh. Okay, I've selected a bundle. Recognizing result document. Mod 6. Fall forge and bundle. Reward, bridge repair. Reward, bridge repair. Reward, bridge repair. Full screen press. I can't see any of that. Okay, let's see. Recognizing result on mod 6. Construction bundle. Reward, bridge repair. Reward, bridge repair. Reward, bridge repair. No, all I see is that... Full screen projector. Source, video capture device. Um, Recognizing result on meat. Vegetable. One of the most willed. Cultivated coins. Uh, wheat, vegetable. Flour, for bread and cause. Reward. Esther has passed out. Construction bundle. Yeah, we're passing out. Full screen projector. Um, source, video capture device. It's going to be my turn to shortly, I think. Yep, away I went. We will find ourselves back at home, I believe. Yes. So, as you can see uh, from this day's events, there is some good that definitely can be done with this. Um, with someone who is willing to create a path for you, to pave a way for you, you can somewhat navigate uh, around your farm and around the property. We did that fairly well. Um, exiting your room, for example, can be done if you memorize where that is, but let's say you did not know. Again, objects having a sound, uh, like a door squeaking, or, um... Oh. I was gonna get to that. Um... So again, to rehash door objects, or objects, whether they make an audio sound or they're mentioned by the menu narration, would be very helpful. The other thing is uh, being able to read the bundles. Uh, OCR could not even read that properly, and so it's it's um it's going to be really difficult to manage. Uh, if we don't have some sort of menu narration and assistance. On-screen text when you're going through a cutscene, I don't know if we can demonstrate that, but it's the same concept applies. Uh, having menu narration read that, um, or cleaning up your text overall, making it more standardized as far as the font goes would really help out. Um, and the final thing I want to talk about is front-end menu narration. Um, and this would include the, include the um, you know, all the getting into the games, um, making it so that, you know, we can navigate the main interface ourselves. Uh, but while that has been done for a lot of games, um, the gameplay for some of them remains completely inaccessible. And so I hope that this little video here uh, shows you um, just some of the things that you that can be done, some of the pitfalls that we're going to encounter, um, some of the and some of the work that could be done to really help out in making this game accessible. I'm going to go ahead and end this recording. Full screen protector, source, video capture device. Op 25, op 6.